lurkers and archaeologists, I'm John Proxy. Welcome to the proximity. And I'm, I'm streaming this live as well. I'm John Proxy. I'm having an East Origin adventure. I'm going to load my game. I'm going to go back to the Devil's Corridor. And uh, we're going to say goodbye to her. And uh, use our demon mode to get past. I perhaps don't have time to attack things. This time I'm going to understand that I have to go out this exit here and talk to this buddy. Oh, what? Did I just hear that? For a moment it seemed I could understand this Rue's words. I'm cursed to live out the rest of my meagre existence on this bleak balcony. Well, at least I wasn't just hearing things. Ha ha! I guess that means I'm essentially become a demon now. Well, I've got a fruit for you. Seems you're another important advice stand of the Devil's Corridor. Perhaps there's something I can do to help. I'll give him some fruit. That'll help. I've got a ring of ease. I don't remember this last time. I sense considerable power in this ring. Power to reduce the consumption of magical energy, if I'm not mistaken. To make it easier to use the Thunder Claw on those demons inside. Thank you, little one. I appreciate it. Huh. So it appears it wants me to use Thunderclaw. So I have to do it all at once. Too long. How many of these bastards are there? Yeah, we've made it through the Devil's Corridor! Oh, well, well, no we haven't. I can never remember if I'm supposed to carry on this way or go to the top. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Banded boots. The, the, the snail worked as well. Oh, I need to give that snail a raiding hat. Oh damn, I did. Woo! Raid! I just started as well. Oh, now I have to do well again. Hello, ring raiders. The command is in your hand. Well, I know at least one person came along on the raid. I mean, they're probably good at dealing with the heart. <gasps> How did the stream go? Kill these purples. Hello, sir. I mean, hello. I can say. I, I just did that thing where somebody says, enjoy your meal, and uh, you say, enjoy your meal back, and you feel really stupid. Um, I'm assuming you're playing The Sims. <laughs> Ooh. He's gonna have to move on to a new game. Did he like Ruti? Because I know that's new for him. How do I get up here? Yeah. Because if it's Bloodborne and you gave birth, then that's a terrifying prospect. But, uh. We'll figure that out later. I will be doing more near. I haven't stopped or anything. But, uh, I like to mix up the amount of games I play, so I'm playing like seven at a time. Clear it all. Lovely. It was a good idea to continue up the Devil's Corridor. Why can't I jump up here? Shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, it is disability. Spirit Cape. Huh. Blimey, I, I don't remember the last time I had 13 viewers. 13 curious viewers. Hang on. Uh, I should have done this. Yay! 13 viewers. Uh, but I've just gotten the Ring of Ease. Not to be confused with the Ring of East. Um, oh, it heals. Fair enough, that'll come in handy. I sh what I'll do is I'll pick a day in the week. I've not quite decided yet. Um, hmm. I'll pick a day in the week. Uh, maybe even during this stream. I could even do it tomorrow, but... Um, Maybe. Or I might even do it tonight. Although it is 11 now. Who knows. Decisions will... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Decisions will have to be made. But I'll add it in the uh, schedule, possibly. So I'll do it like once a week. Like, I intended to say... Mondays, but tomorrow I'm going to be incredibly tired. I don't know if I'm going to be playing them tomorrow. Oh, 
we'll have to see. For the time being, let's see all these curious lurkers, how they feel about suddenly being shunted into the world of East Origin. I've got knives for fingers. Like a cat. Um, I was tempted to because I know horror games are really popular. Um, look at look at all these monsters that somebody gave birth to. Um, yes. Uh, I don't know if Resident Evil counts as a horror game. I mean, it is classically a horror game, but nowadays I don't know if people consider it. But I was tempted to, uh, at the very least, play, um... I don't know. Um, play uh, Silent Hill 1, 2 even. Uh, although I'd be tempted to do Silent Hill 1. I know, actually, I got a subscriber when I played the medium. Uh... But I think Exploded did the same thing, where he tried doing a horror. So I might, what I'm going to try and think of doing is having a day set out per game, and having a horror day. Medium was okay, it was interesting, it didn't quite stick the landing. Uh, it very much feels like a learning studio, that hopefully a couple games time, they'll be good at what they're doing, but it's got some issues. It's a very pretty game. Uh, they, their writers aren't good enough, they don't have the sort of subtleties of a Silent Hill. Uh, like, some of the themes they go into, you're like, yeah, you shouldn't be talking about this. Because, um, you know, horror things take a little bit of maturity to talk about. Uh, it's kind of... It's weird that, you know, Japan who uh, aren't good at uh, being subtle, are quite good at horror somehow. But, um... Well, over. I remember not being keen on this room because it's a big-ass maze. The visuals of uh, Medium is very good. It's not the longest game in the world. Some of the puzzles kind of a too obtuse. Um, cool. So I played Final Fantasies in this order. Uh, I played because uh, I'm from the UK. Uh, it's Final Fantasy VII would have made my first. So Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy XII, Final Fantasy XIII. Then of course I would have eventually gone back to one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, but I haven't played them all properly until recently. So now I've played Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3 all the way through. 9, technically, I've never finished. Uh, I've played 14 up to one of the expansions, and I never finished 15. That was... I appreciate it, I said that all the way through. Uh, uh, oh, really fast. I, I need to get to the good bit of Final Fantasy 14. I am in the first expansion, which everyone loves. So I've got an ult... I've hurt my... I'm probably sounding a little bit weird because I've hurt my face. Uh, and I've got numbing agent on my mouth, so if I'm talking weird, that's why. Um, so I, uh, as soon as the first expansion comes out for um, 14, the entire tone of the game changes, and it's really kind of weird, and it's interesting. But then I kind of burnt myself on it, burnt myself out on it, because I did. Uh, I leveled up every single side character to like 50, which is the insane way of playing that game. Oh, I put my boost on. Absolute worst moment. But I'm, since I'm planning on playing all the Final Fantasies, I will eventually get around to playing through all the 14. Did I turn that on? Or was it already on because I'm a villain? Yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend playing 1, 2, uh, 3. Uh, if you're like not uh, already a massive fan of Final Fantasy, I can tell you that. They're in interesting historically speaking, so they have aged not great. Seven, however, I love seven, but I am biased.
do it. Although I'm planning, when I'm planning on replaying at seven. Um, yes, uh, fourteen is. Uh, people will hate me saying this, but it's not a million miles away from World of Warcraft. In terms of actual gameplay. I'm assuming the actual reason to play 14 is the storyline is treated like Final Fantasy after a certain point. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep murdering these monsters. The thing I'm curious about is Final Hunter 11. Because I didn't even know that was still going. I thought I could skip that, but now I'm not entirely sure I can. Oh, I've also played Final Fantasy Legend, and uh, that was one I couldn't cheat and play an update of because it wasn't fun. Oh, oh yeah, I remember being here before. No way of jumping up there. I think the Luke's played pretty much the same amount as me, but like maybe not some of the weird side ones that I started doing. They arguably don't count. Well, I leveled up again at least. Alright, this is why I got turned around. I'm gonna need the levels up anyway. Although it doesn't look like I'm dying anytime soon. I mean, I only know about Final Fantasy VII because of Luke. Because he imported it from Japan. Because he knew a guy. Although the version I saw him play was the American one, I think. I'd have to check. I know he had to play Metal Gear Solid in Japanese, uh, which had to be a task. Uh, uh, so when I played Final Fantasy VII, it was Luke's copy, but he took the memory card of him. So I'm now an expert of the first 10 hours of Final Fantasy VII, because I've done it. Every time I died, I have to start the game again. So that first disc, pretty good at. No, I mean the original. Um, oh, well, no, I've, I've played the remake, I've streamed it. Did I stream it? No, I didn't stream it, what am I talking about? I recorded it though, I just didn't stream it. I like the remake. I would have liked just an updated version, but I appreciate people don't play turn based games anymore. Ooh, a box. Yes, it's uh, it should be down in the doobly doo right now, uh, but it's called the proximity. I've been doing it for about a decade. Oh, all the fires have gone out. Ah, oh. I appreciate that. It's been a while since I've got a fellow, but I've, I uh, this will go up on there. Oh, I see. Can I go this way? Fair enough, great smuggler. Anything nice? I've got my second one back as well, lovely. Right. Ooh. Uh oh, sounds good. 
Once again, I make my own meals, and uh, that leaves me with very little choice because it has to be something I know how to make. Right, now I'm going to run backwards again. Light all those flames. But even through the darkest flames, the fire burns always. I don't know if that line is correct. Um, one down. I eat exclusively cheddar because it's the best cheese. The stronger the cheddar, the better. There we go in. Come on. Ah, okay, good. Can I jump off this? Sometimes it lets me do clever things. Not this time, though. Oh, I know what that is for. It's this! Haha! <laughs> I want to suck, I want to suck. I want cheese strong enough that it makes you wince. Yeah, this guy's a beast. I was struggling a lot more at this point with Unica. Although, I mean, I also know the place a lot better. And I even remembered after the slide. That's not a slide, that's just me tripping over. That's the opposite of a slide. I'd be tempted, if I didn't have a sense of taste or smell, to try out weird food. Although, if I don't like the texture, I can't eat it. Ooh, kind of see it. Like, I'm Cornish and I don't eat Cornish pasties because I just don't like the, the texture. Why can't I go back out here? Okay. I mean, it's one of the symptoms of COVID. Uh, I think it's officially a symptom now. Like, it's something that we will say you should check. Because I know at first it wasn't one of the official checks. It's just like, oh, but it happens. But I think nowadays in the UK, that's like officially a please do check. Right, we uh, the chest has been unlocked. Let's go get it. Use our panacea before I forget. Drink some tea. So the barrier was linked to all these unlit torches. Uh, they'll have to do a lot better than that. Cool, he teleported me here. That was nice of him. Construct medallion. What's the construct? Oh, it's the head. It's Gal Galadi. Oh, God. That's really poor timing, yeah. Um... I don't have to use that, I don't know what I'm doing that. This is what I want to use. Yeah, I don't know how that works. 
I've not been offered any vaccine or anything like that. I don't know if the government even know I exist. Oh, I've got loads. Enhance my leggings! Uh, bad status during duration effects. Yeah, I guess if, the, if you're a healthy age, healthy age, you know, like, uh, if you're not at a, an at risk person, especially like, hang on, I, I don't know. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know enough about it, and uh, I was going to speculate, and then I was like, I don't really know enough to speculate. I'm asthmatic, uh, which is a little bit of a worry, and I'm overweight, uh, which is two, like, at-risk things. Um, uh, head to herbs, yes please. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I've drunk. Actually, not that long, but it's been over a year since I've probably got drunk, I can tell you that. Uh, for fairly obvious reasons. Stop pressing John. Okay. Drop item effects, yes, please. Right, let's fight a boss. Not being able to taste might cure me of my sweet tooth, though. I mean, I imagine it could be potentially useful for cheap, cheap alcohol. Let's see if I remember how to fight this guy, oh, dude. It's Galadid. Oh, hang on. Well, I, I didn't jump then. Dip down into the lava, grab a couple more hands. Oh, I did that boost too early, didn't I? Go into the lava, grab a couple more hands, do the same process again.
Oh no! Shit. Yep, he had a, he had a move I should have used. DMC is another game I've been planning on playing. I played all the way through DMC 4, and that's it. I think that's the only one I've done. I own DMC 1 and 2 and 3 because they were a collection. But, uh, I know, so I have played one and... Or was it just one and two? I've played a bit one and two. But if I were to play them again, I'd do them properly. Change, change the move, John. There you go. Possibly poorly timed. No, I just won. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit stronger than I was last time I played this. Although I did know... I played through this with a different character, so I recognise the boss patterns. But I'm definitely stronger now as him than I was as Unica. I think it might be about the same. Either way, I'm going to save my game. There's always going to be a, a forward save point, but I'd like to go back. I, I feel better. Coming back. So it was nice doing that with a bunch of lurkers. Hello, lurkers. Oh, hang on. Uh, I still haven't decided whether I like this gif or not yet. It's from the game 999. Where is it? Uh, this one. Yay! That one there. That's what the gift's for. I'm supposed to press a button uh, when I do something successfully. Which is what that character did in that game. Wait! That Unica. It is Unica. It's you. Oh, sad music's. Come on. I'm going to scare everyone off with voice acting. Yes, we're genetically similar. Uh, that's why I wear the glasses, so people can tell us apart. No, sorry, that's why I put on the weights. People can tell us apart. No, um, uh, I, so there's um, three older brothers and there's uh, two half-brothers. Uh, we look less similar to the half-brothers. But uh, I look like both of the brothers, but they don't look like each other as much. So I'm, I'm the middle in terms of face structure. Um, thank you for saving me earlier, and for giving me my dad's sword. Uh, I think he's doing quite well. Um, he doesn't stream. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Why would I go out my way to help the enemy? I don't know, but you did when you were carrying me out of that corridor. I was kind of half in, half out. But it was you who was carrying me. That much I remember very clearly. Hmm. Sounds like a dream to me. Maybe a nightmare. Huh. If that's all you have to say, then I'm, af I'm afraid I really must be going. Wait! My dad told me about you. 
He told me enough. He told me he, you killed him. No, that's, uh, that's Star Wars, isn't it? He said you were the most trusted of all his men, that you pretty much carried the Holy Knights all on your own. I guess that Kishgal guy was the one who killed him. I'm sorry, I jumped to conclusions. I can jump like three times my own height. <clears throat> oh, he started making computer games again, which is nice. Because uh, he really released a couple. They're really good. They're really well made games. And just nobody saw them. And it's... I know how it feels. You, you put a lot of work in something and then just nobody sees it. And you go, well, what's the point of doing anything then? Yes, we do. Uh, she's... Uh, she doesn't get... She gets left out because she's not in all the nerdy shenanigans. Which is a bit sad. But, um... I, I, she does a bit... I think she's doing well. She's... Up to north. She's in Plymouth. <laughs> she isn't north. But I'm in Cornwall, so everywhere's north to me. Huh. No need for apologies. I am your enemy, after all. I stood by when your father died. I didn't do a thing to try and save him. Seems like I should be the one apologizing to you, don't you think? But... The world's a cruel place, little girl. You need to come to terms with that. Or you're as good as dead already. Hopefully, you've learned that lesson earlier when... Wait. How did you get here? Hmm? There's no way you should have been able to make it through the Devil's Corridor in one piece. But here you are. So I'm asking you. How? How is that possible? Uh, well... You can... Thank your little brother for that. Kadena! You... It's been quite some time, Toll. Circumstances aside, it's good to see that you're well. Ah, uh, a very kind of you to say. The well is a relative term. But let's dispense of the pleasantries. Pleasantries. That's how you pronounce that word. It's pleasantries. Let's dispense of those as... Am I to understand that my brother found a way to silence the Devil's Corridor? He did. Apparently by breaking some kind of air intake valve on one of the outer walkways. Yeah, that's how Unica does it as well. So now it's just a normal hallway. Or as close as normal as anything in this place can get anyway. It's a feat worthy of the successor to House Fact, wouldn't you say? I see. So he puzzled it out, did he? So that's Hugo they're talking about. I could have played as Hugo in the original PSP version. You have to do Unica storyline. And Hugo before you get to play as Toll. Or Klaus, as everyone likes to call him. But like, all the villains are the same. It's just, like, they have different plot points. But everywhere else are identical. Whereas Toll has new bosses, I think. I'm not 100% sure about that, but Toll is the canon playthrough. Haha! <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop doing that. Everyone does the same haha, <laughs> and it, 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 it gets on my nerves. <laughs> In some ways, you haven't changed one bit. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? You always get this proud look on your face anytime someone praises your little brother. <laughs> it was not worth coming here just to see that expression. Alright, Unica, let's head back, shall we? Yes, ma'am. Hold it right there. Yeah, I'm playing this on PC right now, yeah, from I got on GOG. Uh, so, the East series, there were two series that, uh, when I went on my Final Fantasy Odyssey, I did a bunch of research on other old games I could play, because I, I played them on a PSP emulator, some of the Final Fantasy games. I'm buying the ones I can buy reasonably, and if they're on, on an emulator, I'm not afraid to just, not afraid, you know what I mean. It's, uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I, it's not above me to just find a way to play it on an emulator. Of course, emulators have fast-forward buttons as well. But this is an action game, so I don't want to, obviously, fast-forwarding in this would be stupid. Uh, apart from the cutscenes. Um, anyway, I did a... 
I, I was like, oh, there's a bunch of old RPGs, JRPGs that I've always wanted to investigate. And East is one of the series. Is. And there's this wonderful fan site of these the biggest fans of East. And they're like, oh, this is these are the games you're supposed to play. This is the order you play them. And they've got it all laid out. And it's like, it's um, it's really nice to see like that sort of fandom. Um, so I'm like, yeah, screw it. I might, I might not play all the games straight away, but I'll give them a good go. But yeah, I could... So, uh, and uh, I got to play a couple of uh, the 80s games. I played, um, uh, the quick answer is no. I, lo I liked first person shooters when they were in the 90s. Uh, although I did play a lot of uh, Destiny. Um, uh, I kind of, I might try and go back to uh, those retro shooters, uh, which just feel like 90s games. Because I, I like my uh, first person people to go a million miles per hour. And my polygons to be counted on two hands rather than 40 hands. But, um, it's the whole Halo thing. Uh, Halo introduced the idea of, uh, health, of, uh, health regeneration rather than health packs. And I like health packs. Health packs mean you explore the area. Uh, and it, you could, you're screwed right. You have to balance the entire game to where the health packs are, so you know how much health a player has before going to a place. Whereas if you regenerate health, then you don't have to plan for that. You could just make the most realistic place you can and just place enemies and not have to worry about anyone ever running out of health. And I'm like, nah, I, li I like you planning. I like you planning it. I did play the original Call of Duty. Um, I like, is it the Call of Duty? I played the one where you have to do D-Day landing with all those X's. Where it was... Uh, I, but I, I, I haven't played them since they've become... I'm going to call it a bro shooter? I don't mean that disparagingly, but I guess it does sound like I'm being disparaging. I like Halo as a bro shooter. Um, everything became bro shooters. Uh, but, um... Uh, I've played... I played... Overwatch a couple of times when it's free. I'm not willing to pay for Overwatch. Um, what was your purpose in coming here? There was no time for a proper greeting when we last met. I simply felt it was wasn't right to leave on such aggressive terms. I'm tempted to. I also don't get on very well with um public online games. I get very anxious uh, with multiplayer, especially. Uh, like uh, StarCraft 2. The last game of StarCraft 2, I won, and then just never could play again. But yeah, I don't mind the idea of them, of um, games that are like Team Fortress 2. Uh, I also struggle with playing the same game again and again and again. He says playing a game the second time around with a new character. Um, although, again, if you look at my Binding of Isaac file, I've played that game hundred again and again and again. Uh, that's a, uh, so I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't for me. But uh, yeah, I could never get into an online game that much. I get curious and I try them out and go, "Hi, this is fun." And then I just got, I just uh, like I I bought an Xbox One on day one. Well, not day one. Let's say week, month one. And my brother, my oldest brother, the uh, mighty clunk, uh, uh, he was like, "No, no, get uh." Um, what's it called? The bang bang, the big robot soldier game. Of, what's it called? Um, the one that no one played basically. Um, and he played that to death. And I tried it. I tried forcing myself to play it, and I just didn't like him. Um, not because it was a bad game, just because I didn't like playing online like that in little teams. I don't know why. It's just, just the barrier to entry for me. What the hell's that game called? Uh, Titanfall. And I know Titanfall 2 is supposed to be really good as well, but it's, it's, I'm just never going to touch it, I'm afraid. Des the only reason the barrier that Destiny 2 crossed for me is that it's a fundamentally... It's a single-player game that just allows other players to leak in from the edges. And then there's a button to play, say, oh, here's some content, uh, but you've got to have people join you. And that's how it works. Like... If Diablo worked like that, where you played and people dripped into your game, I would play that then. I've not played Outlast, no. Um, I was thinking of looking into that, actually. 
Plus our little list, littlest knight here wanted to thank you for saving her and apologising for her earlier actions. I trust none of this is a problem for you. No. Fine. I'm evil. Stop. Shit. Um... I'm trying to, is, um, which, which, which one's Outlast again? There's a lot of out games and I get confused to which one's which. But I'm Outpost, I know which one's Outpost. While I've got your attention though, I'd like to address some of the more hostile sentiments you've expressed. Plans to use the goddesses for some nefarious purpose. Talking of... Talk, talk of... Talk? Ah, fair enough. I like horror out guns. I have a big problem with horror games giving you too much defense. Um, you should, uh, yeah. If you, if you're too good at if you, if you're a marine in a horror game, it's not going to work out for you. Uh, you need to be a little bit defenseless. It's why I like tank controls because it makes it slightly harder to play. It's quite slightly easier to panic. Um, Though I appreciate why you would also remove tank controls from games. I get why Resident Evil evolved. Um, and I recently did play Resident Evil 1 and I'm, I'm, a, I'm like a couple of hours into Resident Evil 2. I had to take a break. <gasps> I have a third channel. It's in the doobly-doo as well. Cool. Uh, I've forgotten what it's called. But I've, I've, I've played through the entire Resident Evil 1 and I've cut them all, each hour down into 10 minute segments. Um... The channel's not taken out, but it's the most effort I've put into those videos. Uh, I redub them uh, for comedy purposes. And it takes me like half of the first episode to really get the tone right. What's that called? It's on my channel. Hang on. I'm just going to click off screen. Uh, uh, won't be a second. Let's take that off for a brief second. And. Uh... want to check out my uh, channel. Oh yes, it's it's um Ooh. Ooh. got a new subscriber. That's the second channel. Uh The Jumpfluence. Go back to the game. Um, let's turn that back on. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I was planning on doing, like, very slowly releasing uh, more... Uh, before I started streaming properly, the idea would be I'd put a lot of effort into distilling each game down into its essence, I guess. Um, trying to explore the game more. And I like what I did with my Resident Evil series. Uh, although it's not finished because I lost um, my recording program. I still have the footage so I can still finish. Uh, I'm going to continue. Uh, where am I? Am I doing everything correct? Okay, everything seems to be above board. Thank you, by the way, for those follows. Radical material, to be sure. But do you really think it's anyone's buying it? Well, you always were pretty rash, jumping right in into where the goddesses fear to tread, careless as can be. And considering what you said and done thus far, I certainly have no intention of asking you to join us. But still, just remember, you can depend on us should you ever feel the need. We'll always be here for you. So I'll probably stream... Um, Resident Evil 2 once I finish the John Fluence series of Resident Evil 1. But it's going to be the original Resident Evil. I I really like going through historical order. Uh, Aha! Uh, so uh, one of the things I learned is Resident Evil feel, feels like a bit of a puzzle game where it's like you're trying to find keys to all the doors Sometimes the key is realizing you can run past zombies, and sometimes the key is six bullets. Um, and when you see it in that way, 
Resident Evil is a lot more interesting. Because um, I, I also want to play the GameCube one, which I appreciate is like identical as well. But I just I wanted to do the ones early first. It's just sort of really interesting. I will play. So I I decided to do the stupid way and do the identical game that was worse. But it did mean I could cheat and save wherever I could save scum, and I'm not playing Resident Evil. Like I'm not playing the PlayStation One version of Resident Evil without save scumming. I had a couple of friends watching me play, and they're going, "Yeah, you should hide that you're doing that." I'm like, "Nah, it's going to be pretty obvious I'm save scumming." <laughs> like I can't cut the footage that well, um, but like that's what I did. It's my experience. That was truly pathetic play for my sympathies. Rash and careless. That sounds about right, but it's who I am. It's what I do best. I might as well see this madness through to the end. Ah, it's not going to end well for you, Toe. It's going to take its toll. <gasps> it's the theme tune. I've reached the theme tune to the game. Yes, yes. Hang on here. By Falcom. There we go. Uh, let's tune. No, the background's fine. Toll. Uh, Leia is the deep. Toll. Fina told me you'd be here. I'm sorry to visit you at this late hour, though. Oh, shit. Wrong voice. It's. I'm sorry to. Ah. Oh, it's quite all right. I don't think anyone's going to get much sleep tonight. No kidding. The ritual starts bright and early in the morning, no? That's right. The six priests have already begun their preparations. By tomorrow evening, it should be all over. Without incident, I pray. That's good. <laughs> but aren't you worried? We are. Wrong voice again, John. We are, after all, only halfway infallible. It's fallible, I guess that's the word I could have used there. Oh, come now. You know I didn't mean it like that. But truth be told, I'm about ready to take back that comment. You never seemed more infallible than you do at this moment. You have such conviction in your eyes. You truly are a woman on a mission. Or more appropriately... A goddess on high. <laughs> I do feel a, a bit invigorated by all this excitement, I suppose. You'd think I'd be nervous too, but strangely, I'm not. I feel rather calm and collected, in fact. Perhaps it's the harmonica. That's how you can tell it's a Japanese game, because they'd, they'd go, only a Japanese game would go, I feel so relaxed, possibly because of the harmonica. Whereas any other country would be like, Oh God, I'm the most stressed I've ever been because of that fucking harmonica. Could you stop with that harmonica? Okay, it's, it's midnight, John, and the people are upstairs now wondering why you're screaming about a harmonica. Um, oh? Well, it, it seems a bit exaggerated, but I'm glad to hear my gift is appreciated nonetheless. Oh, it's no exaggeration at all. A handmade harmonica, forged of Claria by the master metal sift Salem himself, herself. However did you manage to afford such an extravagant item in times like these? Ah, don't worry about it. Holy knights are salaried after all. What, is, is, what, with actual salt? Would it, because it's like, we're in faux medieval times, like all fantasy games. The salary would be the Roman version of salary, which is literal salt. Um, and I've no particularly expensive hobbies. Nor can I think of a better use for my money in all the world. Hmm. What was that? Oh, he said that to himself. Oh, nothing. Just thinking out loud. Would you afford me the honour of hearing you play it once more? I missed the beginning of that lovely melody. It would be my pleasure. Just be sure you listen closely this time. Ah, 
Oh, it's that Monica. I never ever put that together. Because this music's from the original game as well, which you get the harmonica. So in my head, what I was doing is I was thinking of the funniest harmonica song she could play. Like, um, some... Uh, I, don't, I, I can't think of harmonica songs off the top of my head. Derba derba derba, that's not a harmonica, is it? Um, oh, that was b b bad to the bone, I was about to hum then. Sorry to keep you waiting, Commander. It's quite all right. I just figured I might try one more time. It's not too late, you know. Are you certain you won't reconsider? I do not doubt your skills, sir. But I simply cannot allow you to undertake this mission alone. And I should hope you know me well enough to understand how stubborn I intend to be on this point. What are you going to eat? But you're still so young. You bear the future of East on your shoulders. What purpose could possibly be served by rushing headlong into certain death? To ensure there's a future left to bear, sir. The demons are already upon us. And the knights and the sorceresses have their hands full, keeping them at bay until the ritual is completed. The only way to prevent them from overpowering us is to strike from within and spawn confusion in their ranks. You said so yourself. It's not going to end well for you. Though I do regret the offence, I'm certain Galleon will take me... F what? Though I do regret the offence, I'm certain Galleon will take with me for pursuing this course of action. Nope, it's Toll talking. Whatever, everyone knew I was talking about Toll now. We're the same rank, yet I alone get to accompany you. I can see the indignation in his eyes now. Ha ha! Ha ha! Yes, so can I. Sorry, I said those last couple of lines really poorly then. And if you survive, you'll be apologising for it for the rest of your life. Not just t to him, but to your friends, your little brother, and of course, to Lady Leia, most of all. <laughs> I am prepared for the consequences of my actions. But at least I won't be alone in my shame. I can't imagine how you'll ever get that daughter of yours to forgive you for running off like this. Indeed, our survival will be met with a hero's welcome, but eventually the scoldings... What? Scoldings will begin, and the demons may pale in comparison. At any rate, the dawn is breaking. I think it's time we meet our fates. Head on. Yes, sir. That tea's cold. And now time for guitar. Dark Crystal. Hmm. I might use this opportunity to make myself some drinks. Oh, I remember this bit. Oh, hang on. Gotta go full screen again. Now I want to do left first. Um, it's probably fine. I don't need you. Roo, actually, I don't have the thing for Roo. Okay, I need double jump.
Which one am I missing? You, I'm missing you. I'm missing you. Now which one am I missing? I'm missing you. What? I'm gonna talk a lot. These lurkers are gonna potentially attract more lurkers. I'm gonna be all lurked. What? I don't know, there's a word I was reaching for and I didn't know what that word word was. So I said I said the word lurk. I'm gonna just move on and forget that happened. Oh look the monster. Let's distract ourselves with the murdering of monsters. With fire. And the occasional slide if I can find a decent position to do it in. Not here. Come up here. I broke your stuff. The vase is mine now. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I need things to die so I can get my health back. Be a demon again. Do it. Do it. Why is there a gap right there? Why, it's to fall off, of course. Um, yes, I'm missing a key. Well, now we know. I'm going to make my way to the save point. Get myself some free healing. Save my game? With the save game button, that'll help. Hmm. Right, I am going to make myself a drink. I'll be back in like five minutes. At risk of losing all my uh, lurkers, but um, can't really help it, I'm afraid. Glad to be back, Grape Smuggler. Uh, and I only lost one or two viewers during the break, which is. Uh, like, there's nothing more frustrating. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised Lurker stuck about. But, like, when you're starting out streaming and you're like, oh, I need to go pee, but, like, I'm going to lose the two people watching me. You know, uh, it's. Uh, it can be frustrating. Did I save my game? I think I did. Um, this is where I try and do four things at once without saving, and it's going to screw me over. And I'm going to do it again because I never learned. Yes. It's uh, why the one thing... Oh my word, this guy's got so much help. The one thing I could be bothered to do is have that uh, be right back and the snail. Because I was like, yeah, it's got to be an animated screen. I've got to have music. I've got to make sure uh, it's not just a sign that says I'm not here anymore. Um, I like Explodey's lady with a cat. That's a clever idea. You definitely need something moving on your screen. At that moment. Uh, the only thing I'm missing is that I'd really like something to say what music's playing. Because I'm sure people are occasionally curious as to what song to play. And I need more music for that playlist. Always more music. More music forever. Bunches SP. 
Right, I guess this is for when I get double jump. Because I'm not making that jump anytime soon. Uh... Oh yeah, that's probably a lot easier. I'd like it to stay on the screen, but spamming the chat's a secondary option, I guess. And also, uh, it would put writing on the screen, which is sometimes a good idea. Oops. Doesn't seem to be doing that much damage, though. Uh, there we go. Marble key. Well, I know a place that needs a key. Uh, you know what? I had this place confused for another place. So there's two places I have to return to now. When I get double jump, which is around here somewhere. Yeah. I see you there. Hmm. Well, whatever, I didn't want to fight him anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if it's just one line. Like, the name of the artist, the name of the song. People can figure out what album it's on later. Oh, I, I must have went out the wrong way. Well, there's some of the music I'm going to have to update the info to. But yeah. I killed these dudes already. Open sesame. I'm ill. Go demon form for these guys. Remember, I've got a slide attack. There we go, a slide attack level. Even have a door open. Oh wait. I literally just noticed you said the name of the thing as well. I'm gonna write that down actually. Pretzy. Yes, I'll look that one up. Thank you, Grape Sniper. Double jump. It's gotta be double double jump, but they just put a double jump wall next to me. I am. Yeah, I. Huh. Cool. Let's have a well of a time. Let's put on the gold bracelet as well. Oh, it just. It's, it's, it's like I say. No, no, no. Back up, back up, back up. Right, I realised what I did wrong at the last second. Why doesn't that work? It sort of works. Right. it again. Ah. Oh, you don't even need to use the move. I got a ruby now, lovely. Lovely. My 
just improved one Inferno, so... Do whip. Grab these crystals, do whip. And uh, skedaddle. Um... That doesn't seem like enough. Maybe I have to come back here with a second ability. Okay. Recovery. Lovely. Save again. We're gonna return briefly uh, to Guilty Fire 2. There's an item I left. And I want it. I want that item. As soon as I remember where I left it. Found here somewhere. Yes, um, I'm not sure how old, but uh, I should have been able to make that. Um, but it's at least 10 years old. Haha! Oh, it's just SP. room correct to the one I think it is bird of food beautiful why would you not pick up the stuff John why would you not pick up the stuff These stairs. Uh, I can jump, double jump, get this item here. Some panacea. Drink the panacea immediately. Why would I not drink it immediately? It gives me more health. No, not allowed up that place. Maybe I can double jump here now. Now that will just get me the rue. I need it anyway, but still. Hello, rue. You'll rue the day that you defied me, little Kanga. No! So I'm gonna. Oh, I was gonna boost. Alright, fine. Well, oh, I got some greaves. It's very generous of you. I'll make good use of them. Thanks. I'm pretty sure if I, I can translate it if I change the mode. Put on the greaves. Drop 
these stairs. Now I was thinking of the next floor. This looks like a boss room. Is it a boss room? Oh, it'll be a... I'm not alone. No, I have five viewers lurking right now with me. Also some monsters. Ah, uh, an ambush is it. So the music got very 80s. Your power will only feed me. I'll win. But at what cost? What the hell are these things? Oh, they come back to life, of course. No matter. No matter how many I defeat, I can't absorb their power. Nier has an amazing soundtrack. Uh, uh, just I was gonna, I was saying to someone the other day, I can't remember who it was. Like uh, in Japan, there seems to be this completely different ethic to how, not ethic, ethic. I can't speak. Um, you know, like let's say ethic, it's fine. Uh, how they do soundtracks it's it's uh yeah i think it's the correct word but uh, yeah it's really good it's the short, the long and short of it what damn seems dells has been tinkering with the undead what haha <laughs> Well, that seems to have done the trick. Ah! Okay, uh, this is the wise one. It's been a long time, Toll. I haven't seen you since that fateful night. It has been a while. But you are here, there. You saved me a great deal of time by coming. Yes, I'm glad I happened upon you as well. There's something we need to discuss. A grievance I wish to air with you, as it were. Oh, and what might that be? Related to my capture of Fina, no doubt. No, it's about that day, the, that night. It's about the day and the night. When you stayed behind on the surface, without saying a word to either of us. Well... It was only after the ritual had been completed, and the shrine raised into the heavens, that you... that I had heard what become of you... what had become... of you and Saul. You can't even begin to imagine how Fina and I grieved for you. Our closest friend had disappeared into the night purposefully getting himself lost in the damned land without so much as a goodbye. We began to think of our friendship and everything we'd been through together may have all been a lie. No, that's not true. I did it because I care about you. I'm the villain here. <laughs> you actually bought all that. Well, I'm certainly no actress, so I suspect my audience may simply be a bit naive, or gullible, perhaps. Pity. I was beginning to reconsider my stance on the matter. Perhaps it has all been a lie. I am, after all, a traitor to East now. I've accepted demonic power and even kidnapped your sister. And that won't be the last of my misdeeds. Now that I have you and the Black Pearl in my sights, I can't simply allow you to escape. I'm going to have to listen to the soundtrack. Uh, uh, to this as well, actually. This has got a pretty good soundtrack. Um, I like the guitars in this song more than the uh, pianos. Um, uh, but to um, Nia. 
because there's an original near soundtrack and a new one and I know it's obviously quite popular to go yeah the original's better and I've heard a bit of it because it's got more cowbell but I'll, I'll listen to both okay let me uh take a sip now oh, again he's supposed to have a less gravelly voice but I'll I will afford you the cha a chance to come quietly Will you accompany me without resistance? It's better, that's his voice. No, I won't. I can't. I can't let you die like this. Yeah, I think that's the song I've heard. With the, I don't know if it's cowbell, but there's drums going on. That was me doing drums, as if you didn't know what drums were. Ah! So, I was right. Your face has always been extraordinarily easy to read, my dear Toll. What nonsense are you spouting? Why, I would never let myself get killed. To destroy the demon... No, bleh. To destroy the demonic essence, I would presume. But it won't work. The essence originates from the Black Pearl. Unless the object itself is destroyed, the essence will remain. And the Black Pearl is a treasured treasure crafted long, long ago in the age of the gods. No man, nor indeed divine entity, can destroy it so easily. Which isn't to say it's impossible, of course. Your method simply won't be enough to accomplish it. Only by absorbing so much power as to become one with the demonic essence, essentially merging with, into it. Okay, so the implication here, sorry, I rushed through that line. So I'm pretty sure I'm the villain to the very first game, but the implication here is that I'm doing the evil run of the tower just to become a villain of the tower, just so somebody 700 years in the future can kill me and free the tower. That's the implication. If I understand that correctly. Uh, sadly, we don't have Heisenthal to uh, to uh, confirm this for me, but I believe that's what's going on here right now. Could any man, woman, or god possess the ability to destroy the Black Pearl? But that would mean nothing short of suicide. After all, if you and the Black Pearl are one and the same, then your existence depends on its existence. And if you annihilate your source of life, you too will be annihilated, no less surely or completely. So yeah, Demon Toll is a much better name than Dark Fact, which is the worst name, even if he is still called Fact. Uh, listen to you ramble. You, do you think this is all an act? Look up, look well upon me. Look at what I've become. The tall fact you knew died that day. The man, nay, the demon I am now is driven only by a lust for power with intent to rule all over of Ys. The demonic essence has given me what I need to achieve this goal. Why would I ever wish? Please, Toll. Don't do this. It just... Your throat, it hurts so much when you do this. I know how difficult it must be to retain any semblance of reason while taking that form. Do you remember what you said to me before? You told me I was halfway perfect. That punish, pushing myself to go all the way was utterly pointless. Sometimes... I'm losing both voices now. Because that goddamn growl. So I've just noticed, because it says uh, Grape Smuggler raided and then hosted. Uh, but I can see the difference between the initial raid and the host. So like, how many people went, yeah, I'll go with you to do the raid, and then immediately dropped out. Uh, which happens all the time. I Like, I don't blame people for dropping out, you know. Um, anyway, uh, even though my face hurts a little bit, let's try and do the voices correctly. 
Sometimes you have to be able to admit your faults and accept help from those who care about you. That's not to say you're halfway perfect, of course. Really, you are nothing halfway at all, it seems. You do nothing. But you should follow your own advice nonetheless. I don't see you accepting any help. I only see you pushing your limits. I like that he pauses demonically. Oh, thank fuck for that. Well, well then, why don't you tell me? Tell me how you plan on keeping the demonic essence locked up inside the Black Pearl. When I accepted these powers, I was given insight into the true nature of the essence. You might say, I felt it. It was like a chaotic, flickering flame, both beautiful and revolting in equal measure, generating demons and darkness and ending. If controlling it was such a simple task, no doubt you too would have done it long ago. This whole mess over this whole mess over as soon as the first demons reared its ugly their ugly heads. You obviously have some sort of plan in mind, or you wouldn't have wouldn't be here. So what is it? What scheme have you devised? It's so drastic, it drove you and your sister to sneak away into this hellish abyss. I know there's something you're not telling me, something you're hiding. I'm sorry. I can't say. I won't. Not to you. Here's some chimes. Chime in any time. Consider them a belated thank you for that lovely harmonica you once gave me. Keep them close. You'll be glad you did. Oh yeah, the harmonica is how I defeat the zombies. There! If we can seal away the demonic essence, we'll have averted the worst of the crisis. And you'll be free from this curse you've taken upon yourself. So I beg of you, please, stay your hand and leave everything to us. So the ironic thing is that Dark Fact is like the hardest villain in any of these games I've played so far. Because just because you don't have spells when you fight him. It's just you have to corner attack him. It's so difficult. And I was playing on normal. People have done it on Nightmare. Can't let me die like this, huh? She's one to talk. The look in her eyes was that of a woman willing to accept whatever fate may befall her. And in this accursed tower, death is the most likely end to any story. Especially if... Wait... Of course, that has to be it. How daft. Daft is a strange word for him to say. How daft am I that I thought never even the thought. Yeah, yeah. How daft am I that the thought never even crossed my mind until this very moment. Foolish. The word foolish. Use the word foolish. It's in character. Nobody from medieval times used the word daft. I am but a fool. Mate, you've been daft. I need to talk to Fina. Maybe I can get her to confirm how they plan to seal away the demonic essence. And explain why they sneaked down to the surface to do it. Rado's annex isn't far from here. I just hope I can speak with her alone. Oh. Hang on. Diamond.
Forgot this dude. Oh, he's these four bastards. I can only see him. Do it. It's not a chest, it's a thing like that. Haha! I think that's probably Do it. It's left and right, if I remember correctly. No! I went. I did that on purpose to collect the other jars. Let's try that again. That was a bomb jump. More SP. Oh, I wanted to do that anyway. Farewell, Uchi. You have a good one as well. sometime I think. Thank you for watching as well. Shit. <laughs> Also a box. Ah, second lift to the right. Some colors here, lovely. these stairs once again. No a safe point? Probably didn't need to use my 
boost there. This room, I but this is the room. No, it's not the room. We'll be back in that room, I'm sure. Once we get a key. Oh, is this Anno's Radix? Good my legging? Because of course. I pressed the button too early there. Um, 1 5 is the closest one. Rado's Annex. What did I say? Oh, more talking. I am struggling a little bit with that. Oh, hey, you claw man. Epana, shouldn't you be out searching for the goddess? You think? But Zava wanted me to stick around and stand guard. Seems those folk from East have made their way to the upper half of the tower, so they're not too far from here. How about you? Still no sign of Leia, was it? Yeah, still no sign. There's something I need to discuss with her counterpart, however. If you wouldn't mind giving me s giving us some privacy. Sounds scandalous. Well, no one here but me, and I'm not moving from the spot till Zava tells me, so feel free to talk to what's the name all you want. Excellent. Thank you. If you'll excuse me then. Didn't need that part, right? 